Despite confusion, some abortion providers have started offering abortion services again in Arizona. The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade has left the state with a battle between two laws. The state attorney general is asking the court to enforce a 1901 law that restricts almost all abortions. But Planned Parenthood is urging the court to enforce a newer and less restrictive law. Living in a world of confusion. The patients are scared. More than two months after the Supreme Court's decision on abortion access, many Arizonans are still unclear about what is legal under state abortion laws. We're also dealing with barriers as being a nurse first. How far can I go with this patient? The confusion in Arizona getting national attention. Health and Human Service Secretary Javier Becerra joined a roundtable hosted by Planned Parenthood to hear concerns from health care providers. We understand that we, we can't tell a state what laws to pass, but we certainly could tell a state that the laws that they passed are unconstitutional or violate federal laws and are therefore preempted. And we'll do that where we must. While the courts decide whether to enforce a near total ban on abortions or enact the new Arizona law restricting abortions after 15 weeks, doctors are still unsure of what they can and cannot do to help patients. There is still this fear from which our abortion workers come from that it's not safe for them to assist in providing abortion care. The 15 week ban is set to go into effect September 24th after being signed by Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. But with the old law on the table, it appears the confusion will linger longer. If the court decides to agree with Planned Parenthood and not revive that old law, then we have a situation where you can get abortions in the state of Arizona up to 15 weeks of gestation. And once you've passed 15 weeks, you cannot get an abortion in the state of Arizona unless it's for a medical emergency. If the court decides to revive the old law, abortion will be criminalized fully in the state, no matter how far along a woman is in her pregnancy. It will also subject providers to potential jail sentences for performing abortion services. The judge will announce her decision after September 19th.